Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. Many of you already know me from my time at SAP. When I was part of the global SAP Business One team, really helping to spread the word about SAP Business One. And certainly I had the pleasure to come along to one of the ASA SAP Business One user conferences that was held in Anaheim. And I had the opportunity to meet with many of you and present a number of sessions at that conference. Well, I'm pleased to let you know that I have come back to rejoin the uh, American SAP user group Business One community. And you'll have the opportunity, um, hopefully it'll be the pleasure, to meet with me at the upcoming conference in Anaheim in October, where I'm gonna be presenting a number of different sessions on a number of different topics, as will a number of other people from the SAP Business One community. Of course, there'll be people there from SAP, so you'll have the opportunity to hear directly from the software publisher themselves, but you're also gonna have the opportunity to hear from other people in the community, your peers, people just like you, who are running SAP Business One in their businesses today. What I wanted to do in this video, apart from obviously introducing myself and inviting you to join us at the Biz One conference with your peers from the SAP Business One community, is I wanted to give you a little bit of a background on what you can expect uh, at the Biz One conference and of course, what you can expect from the SAP Business One a group as part of the American SAP user group um, and some of the things that that we have been doing to make the user group even more effective and an even better resource for you. The most important thing to bear in mind is that everything that we're going to be doing at this year's event is really based around some research that was done where the SAP user group and the team at Eventful Conferences, who are now the organization behind the Biz One Conference, they did a bunch of research where they got um, a number of people from the SAP Business One community, mainly customers such as yourselves, and they got them together in a number of research sessions and had the opportunity to ask you um, and ask them uh, as representatives of the community, what were the kinds of things that were gonna be important to make sure um, that they had coverage of at the conference. And of course, not only the conference, but from an ongoing perspective with the SAP user group. Now, interestingly enough, that was put together um, in a document which you can access yourselves. And that's the document that I actually have here, which is the 2017 research report. And this research report has got some really interesting um, feedback in here. Now I'm going to be doing quite a bit more work together with the American SAP user group, I'm just going to refer to it as ASUG from now on because it's a little bit of a mouthful. I'm going to be doing quite a bit more work um, helping to build and present content specifically for you as the SAP Business One community. And a lot of that content that we're going to be doing is really based on the research um, that was put together in this report. So what I wanted to do is just give you a quick overview of what some of those topics are. Now remember, you can go to www.biz.1, that's B-I-Z, or B-I-Z, depending on what your accent is. So www.biz.1, O-N-E, uh, and you can go ahead and you can download this report for yourself. But you know the key things that people told us that they wanted to hear about uh, from these kinds of events and this content were really around 10 key topics. The first of those is reporting, getting an understanding of what were the different reporting tools, what were the advantages of one versus another, not just the SAP Business One standard reporting tools, but other reporting tools available out there in the market and how to use them. The second was how to get a better support experience. What are the resources available from a support perspective, not just from SAP, but what are some of the other communities and some of the other ways that other users of SAP Business One get their support? The third one was really starting to drill down into some very specific business process areas, like for example, finance and accounting. Um, you know, how to automate tasks, how to get much more from the core functionality in the SAP Business One system, because let's face it, what enterprise resource planning software is all about. It's all about driving efficiency and driving effectiveness. So really understanding uh, um, you know, how to do that with SAP Business One. Inventory for many companies is a big issue. 
how do you manage that inventory process effectively? And, and not just the inventory process, but the entire logistics cycle from managing supply chain right through to areas as specific as, you know, effective ways of handling delivery management, you know, utilizing mobile applications to, to go out there and automate that process and, and, and extend the SAP Business One solution out to other people in the organization. Usability, again, is another key area. You know, how do you take advantage of SAP Business One? What are some of the hints and tips that people have found when they're using SAP that make the solution easier to use, easier to consume, uh, and make the onboarding experience of bringing new people on to the solution even quicker and easier? Uh, other areas are like uh, the sales and marketing. Many people don't realize, but SAP Business One has some fantastic customer relationship management functionality. And in the upcoming version 9.3, you're going to see some additional hints and tips um, and some additional enhancements around that functionality. And again, that's another area we're going to be spending time on is helping you understand what is the product roadmap for SAP Business One. What does it mean for you and how can you utilize that new functionality uh, in your business. And then of course, how do you adopt that? How do you plan for it? How do you roll it out? And what are some of the more effective ways of doing that? There's a lot of things that, that, that you wanted to know about, uh, as you can tell from this list, and the list isn't done yet. Things like innovation and technology adoption. You hear a lot these days about digital transformation. Well, what does that mean to you as a user of SAP Business One and what are some of the examples of digital transformation and how can you adopt those inside your organization? From things as simple and as, I guess these days, commonplace as utilizing e-commerce, um, right through to other areas like the concept of building a digital boardroom, something that SAP have been talking about. How do you start to do these things inside your organization? And importantly, how do you do that in a cost-effective um, and timely manner? because that's really one of the key areas. There are lots of things you can do with software. Of course, as you know, the old joke is, uh, anything is possible given enough time and money. Well, we really wanna make sure that we're showing you how to achieve these things um, in the minimum amount of time with the lowest amount of money being spent on the process, which I'm sure you'll appreciate uh, as an important area. The other areas are you know, around integration. How do you, um, in this new world where applications talk to one another, how do you integrate your SAP Business One solution with other applications? And how do you do that in a way um, that is simple and easy and doesn't necessarily require a master's degree in information technology to go ahead and do that? So these are some of the things that, that we're going to be talking with you about over the coming months and, of course, in some upcoming sessions at the Biz One conference in Anaheim in October. Uh, some other areas as well are around specific things like how do you work effectively with materials resource planning or MRP. Many of you will be aware that built in the side SAP Business One is some light manufacturing functionality, but what a lot of people don't realize is that has actually been enhanced. Many of you are probably still today running on version 8.8. .8. Well, the software has moved on quite a lot since then. We're just about to see the release of 9.3 uh, and there's been a lot of new functionality added. So we're gonna talk about that. And of course, each time there is a new service pack release, there's new functionality. You can look to the SAP Business One user group uh, as part of ASUG to help you understand what that functionality is. Along with, of course, the materials that are published by SAP and your SAP Business One partner. There are other things that we're going to do. I don't want to steal the thunder of some of the things that we're going to announce at the conference in, uh, in October. But you should keep an eye open because um, part of my responsibility is to help you understand what are the things that we will be covering at the conference. What are the things that you're going to get the opportunity to learn at the conference? So please stay tuned on this website. Uh, keep an eye open for a uh, whole range of additional blog posts, some more videos. Um, and, you know, general information that's going to help you understand why you should be at the Biz One conference in Anaheim in October. I'll be presenting a couple of in-depth workshops. So not only will we be presenting those 
those traditional sessions that you might see at a conference, but we're gonna try and take an even deeper dive and give you the opportunity to get hands-on with some of this functionality that you've been asking for. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up today's video and, and ask you to keep in touch, keep visiting the website, keep an eye on the information that's coming out. There are also groups on Facebook and LinkedIn that are dedicated to SAP Business One. Keep an eye on those groups as well because we'll be sharing information on those groups. But of course, keep an eye on the uh, ASUG website, particularly in the SAP Business One uh, special interest group area on that website. There'll be a lot more information being shared on that. And we look forward to seeing you in Anaheim in October, but we also look forward to seeing you online uh, and sharing a whole lot of additional information uh, and helpful resources with you as time progresses. So look forward to seeing you there. Thanks very much and have a fantastic day.